Hey YouTube, this is Roy. Um, today I, uh, I think I have something exciting to uh, introduce to you guys. We're going to do our very first uh, Cornwell Flyer of Cornwell Tools. Uh, the gentleman that is coming to see us, I think he's going to be here on Wednesdays. But um, he went ahead and gave me the flyer and I was like, instead of waiting from here to Wednesday, I decided that, um, you know, so you guys have something to look at and watch this weekend. Um, he gave me two flyers. So I'm thinking uh, if uh, what I'll do is I'll do the uh, Milwaukee one first. So I'm thinking that uh, the same thing with Matco. I'm thinking that Cornwell Tools is um, big time into Milwaukee. And so um, for the guys that buy Milwaukee, we, we buy Milwaukee. They, uh, they'll get a chance of, um, you know, to, to buy the, um, and exchange tools with your, with your tool driver. So this is the front page. Um, if you notice here, they have a lot of BOGOs, like uh, on this one here, if you buy the drill, I'm thinking you get like uh, an extra battery. So I'm thinking that that's like three batteries plus the charger, and then it's got the prices there. And I think they're having a sale because normally by looking at that, it looks like it's a little bit higher. Uh, these are some of their sanders. Um, on this page, these are some of the kits that include the battery and their cases. Um, for us in the automotive, I really like these, uh, these um, polishers. Uh, you no longer need a cord. So you got two orbitals of different sizes and then you have your regular polisher. And there's the prices right there for um, each one. And I'm thinking if you look down here, they also have the uh, pads to go with it. And I guess if you buy the polisher, you get a free, a free battery, which is cool. Because if you have the 18 volt platform, you can use your other batteries too. So here they have like, um, I guess some of the saw saws, um, uh, some of the grinders, um, and I guess whichever one you buy, like the combos, you get the um, free battery and charger. Down here, if you buy this combo, I guess you get another battery for free. So you're getting like three batteries. On page five, uh, these must be some of their new hammers. So you can see here they have ball pings. Um, uh, the, I guess the, the dead blow ball peen, which are these, and then your regular dead blows. And if you notice here, folks, on the prices of these hammers, they're good quality. And if you notice, they're not as expensive. And I guarantee that they're very nice hammers. And here I'm thinking that if you buy the one battery here, you get the smaller battery for free for 275. So um, I guess the big one is what they call the XC6. I guess it's like a high output battery. Uh, on the next page, uh, these are right angle die grinders. Uh, and they sell them as a kit too. So I guess they come with a batteries charger and their bag. I have this, this kit right here and I really like it. And I think back in the day, that's about what we paid for it because it's, it's the, the newer stuff, the brushless. And ours, I think came with one battery too. And it came with this little thingy here. I guess you adapt that when you're getting ready to cut tile. And over here, these combo kits. Guys, I really, really, really like this one right here. The one quarter. So it comes with the ratchet, your little gun. And then it, it's got the free battery with free charger. I think this kit is really cool. Um, I don't have this one. I'm thinking about getting that one, especially when you're doing um, like um, gaskets on your seal covers. That this, this helps a lot. You just put a socket and extension and 
you're good to go. I actually like these two. I was telling my wife that I like these two. Uh, this is the three eighths. It comes with your little impact and your um, your long ratchet. Uh, these two you can get later, but it's a combination of the one quarter and three eighths. But I think either one of these kits, uh, especially for someone that's beginning, I think that's a fantastic deal. And what's cool about it is it shares the same battery. So I think that was that was nice. And then on the back of the page, it has uh, some lighting. Um, I thought that for under the hood lighting, that's a that's about a that's a fair price. I, I think that under the hood lighting's pretty much go around that range, that price range. The uh, the neck light, uh, there's one, I think it's 127. I'm thinking, I didn't read on it, I'm thinking that it's rechargeable too. So, um, and then these are the inflator and radio charger. And if you notice on all of these, you're getting the free battery, free charger. Uh, these here, I think these are rechargeable floodlight with free power kit so so folks that was that's it for the for the for this one for the milwaukee flyer and now i'll skip to the um to the next one the original corn fly the cornwell uh tools flyer so on this one if you guys notice um the uh the torque wrenches here they're almost comparable to the snap ones and and price um and if you notice too they are they're also flexible at the tip they have the the flex head what i really really did like and this is something new to me because i hadn't seen them yet not from snap on anyway these um these pry bars they're the index um so, you know, you can put them in multi position. So I thought that was pretty cool. And by looking at the price for 149 for if you're getting both of them, that's really a fantastic deal. And they look beefy. They the handles, the way the, the the pry bar looks, it looks it looks pretty, pretty beefy. So if he comes on Wednesday, I may decide to go ahead and get those because you never know when you need to pry something out. Um, I was also telling my wife that I thought these uh, flex wrenches for the set and the foam case, the price two oh nine, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And on these, whatever happens to that wrench, you turn it in and they give you a new one. So that's pretty cool. And the price on these air grinders too for the ninety nine for both of them, I think is pretty cool too. And um, so that's the first page. Uh, on this page, they have um, the cooling system tester kit. It says here that you're saving $25. I guess they're regular $244. They have it for $219. Um, here they have uh, the NOCO Boost. Uh, folks, if you're ever getting these BOCO, the, the NOCO Boost, um, you know, nowadays they even sell them at Sam's Clubs or um, you can get them from Amazon. And you may get them cheaper, but I think if you buy in a piece of equipment like this, it's best to get it from one of your tool trucks because if something goes wrong with it, you can just give it back to your driver and they'll exchange it. Um, my wife kind of liked this little creeper. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a little, uh, it's got two drawers, so if you look in the picture, it looks like they extend from each side. And then in the front, if you're working on something, it looks like you could put your, like, uh, screwdrivers or mini pry bars in that little slot there. And you could, or your soda, maybe. And um, it even has, like, this little shelf if you need to put something there. So that, that looks pretty cool. <clears throat> it's got a handle that you can pull on it. And by looking at this picture too, it looks like the seat is, you know, goes over so you can store stuff inside the box too. So even for detailing, I think that's that's a pretty cool seat. And then over here, I may decide to get this too, folks. It's a complete set with the uh, magnetic, uh, 
spark plug set. And if you notice, it's got all the sizes, all the swivels, the long ones. I thought that was a pretty nice set. Um, they also have this digital tire inflator for the price. I think that's really nice. And then they also have the, uh, the sledgehammers. Um, I guess they have like an 88, 23, and 33. And you know any one of their sledgehammers, guys, they're going to be good quality. Uh, these are good for especially the guys that are doing um, tires. So, um, and then down here, uh, $199 for the um, extension set. These are magnetic, so as you can tell, it's got the complete collection with swivels and everything. Um, I heard on these, the tips, when you put the socket in, maybe unless you're using deep sockets, but that tip kind of gets in the way. So, um, uh, I don't know. You guys leave it in the comments. Let us know what you guys think about those. I have the magnetic sockets versus the extensions. And then on this, I guess you have um, your Cornwell boxes. And if you guys notice, I guess it's got like the... They figure out like a weekly payment on what you would pay for each item. Um, the roll carts are pretty cool. Um, I told my wife that I really, really love their platinum roll cart. And down the road, depending on, on how things go with us, I may decide to get one of those because um, I think they're really cool. I think they're big. They're, uh, they're good quality. And they also... They don't have a picture of the one that I like here, um, but it looks like this, but it comes with the flip table too. So this one doesn't show the table, but <clears throat> I like the one I like the one that um that has the flip table and it has a drawer that comes out so you could stack your guns. Maybe they'll show it in the next flyer. <clears throat> this one's pretty cool too because it's a slide top. And it's got little drawers so you could put like paperwork, pens. And then if you guys notice closely over here, if you're paying $27 a week on that roll cart, that is a very nice roll cart. And if you notice closely too, I think it even comes with power. It's a flip top, but with power. This is a fantastic price, like 18 bucks a week. And it's got the compartment on the bottom, and it looks like it's also got power. So I think those are good prices for these types of carts. They're, they're good quality. You know, as you know, I have two of them. And then here they have the, um, the, the three-drive magnetic socket trays. Um, I guess this is the, the fixed-head torque wrench. Uh, the one that's not digital. And um, and they have some pretty good prices on... on uh, they also carry the, the Nipex pliers, if you can see here. These water pump pliers. I, I'm thinking these are also made by Nipex. These kind of look like the Cobras. I think they rebranded for, um, for Cornwell. These are pretty nice, the Swedish pipe wrench. Um, I also like the whole lot, and the price I think is decent too, on this um, IRC 5500 <clears throat> half, half inch impact, and I like it because it's tiny. And then these are new, this is the first time I get to see those, and then and you guys know, you know, on these. Um, and also on the air ratchets, they introduce, they're starting to introduce them in green as well. Before you never saw that, it was mostly blue. And on the mini ratchets, too, for $159. Um, the air hammer kit. And I think the uh, the chisels on that is included with that. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, if you guys would, let me know in the comments on these, um, on the step drill bits. Let me know how um, how good of a quality they are. Um, I think this is a fantastic deal for 50 bucks for the um, uh, Blue Power Cobalt Drill bit set, and it comes in a little case. I think that's a good deal there. And they also have a variety of, um, of uh, head and neck uh, lights, 
rechargeable flashlights. Uh, these are the Stinger. They're supposed to be um, they're supposed to be good quality. A lot of the mechanics have them. Uh, I see them in their toolboxes and their roll carts. Here they have more lighting. Uh, over here on the diagnostics, I don't know much about their diagnostics because uh, um, I, I guess they use the Maxis. Um, I'll have to ask the guys more on that. What kind of, um, um, here's one. I guess this is for the diesel guys with Bluetooth. And, and as you notice, they're not cheap. I mean, that one's like uh, 1300 This one is almost like 4000 So I think that's for the big heavy trucks. And these are the smaller ones that you can use like in your garage at home. On the next page, if uh, save big on the impact sockets. So if you guys notice, their sockets are not cheap, but they're um, they're made here in the USA and they're good quality. So it's something that's gonna last you forever. Um, they, I think this is a nice set here for fifty bucks, and you're getting all four pieces in and with its case. I had um. I had a viewer from uh, the Monday video that we did with Jesse on the Snap-on. He was asking about the um, half-inch drive um, extension if Snap-on made one. I think that if Snap-on doesn't make it, by looking at this flyer, you can get this complete set here from Cornwall for $175. And the measurements are 18, 24, and 36. So if he wanted to route, instead of getting the uh, the Snap-on and decided to get the Cornwell, and these are locking too. So this is, a, this is another option. And uh, if you have a three-quarter gun, you can always use an adapter when you're using something something long too. So that's, that's another option. Um, this is more diagnostic, um, circuit testers, relay pliers. I guess these would be kind of cool. They look like the pliers that Snap-on has, so you could take out fuses and stuff from the fuse boxes. And here they have more um, heavy-duty test leads, more test leads, uh, terminal kits. Um, this is a pretty nice price too for the master disconnect set. They have the whole set for 70 bucks. That's that's pretty decent price for that. And then on the next page, they have all the chargers, crimper tools, um, another Noco. I guess this is the smaller one for 200 bucks. Um, Dual cylinder leakage testers, um, jump boxes. Uh, let's see. On the next page, um, the uh, this is for the brakes. Um, let's see, eighty one dollars uh, for that kit there. Um, truck ball joint master kit. Wow, that's expensive, but it looks like it's got a whole lot of them. Um, heavy duty, I guess that's for when you're changing oil, the 21-piece heavy-duty end cap wrench set. And um, fluid extractors. Uh, I don't have like this big one. I kind of got a cheapy one from Harbor Freight to service my air compressor. Um, Let's see, extension stork, torque extensions, uh, push puller, and there's all the prices, folks, for 63 bucks for the brake caliper press. And then on the next page, uh, undercarriage, uh, oil pliers, um, Brake lining gauge, eight piece. So uh, I like these uh, trim trim piece tools. I guess that would be something for thirty four bucks. That would be something I would use. Uh, let's see, 
push pin pliers. This would be something that I would use. These items up here would be more for like a body shop. And then this is another thing that I would probably be interested to folks. The three ton vehicle stands and they have them in green and they have them in blue with the little Iron Man logo. I thought those were pretty cool. And for 70 bucks, the three ton, I think that's, that's pretty good. Uh, the the ones that I have, I bought at Harbor Freight, but there was a recall, so I heard that they redid their their made they made them better quality. These this is welding stuff, a uh, transmission jack. Um, this is supposed to be like a newer upgraded version, the fifteen hundred uh, under hoist stand. There's another creeper seat, but this has got the round. It doesn't have as many compartments in, as the other one. And if you guys notice, it's almost for that price. You know, um, I think the other one has more to offer. And then they have uh, the, the knives. I think these are pretty cool, uh, especially like this one. Um, I, I like that. For $22, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, our son-in-law's in the military, so he would love stuff like this. Um, let's see. And then on the very back, I told my wife, I really like that cap. I think that's pretty cool with the wrench protruding right through it. Uh, this is their half inch impact. And uh, it says here, 1,350 foot pounds. Um, and that's it. And then uh, I guess the battery tester at the very end for 119. So I guess you got a camera too also for your iPhone for 159. So folks, that pretty much covers the two Cornwall flyers for the month of February. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, our truck should be here Wednesday. So let us know on the comments what you guys think. Um, maybe some of the things that we should ask our new driver. Uh, we're gonna try to film the um, the picture of the truck because it's uh, he's got like the American flag on the front of it. It's pretty cool. It almost looks like the truck that goes to um, um, uh, Power Stroke Jude. His driver has a truck that looks like that. So our new driver has a truck that looks like that. It's a Freightliner. So uh, hopefully we get to bring you these new videos. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good weekend, and, um, and we'll see you Monday when Jesse gets here. Bye.